hi besties welcome back to my channel ada checker here get your popcorn your pen and your paper because you're going to be writing some notes down so um first of all i will discuss this topic in different sections the first one is the motivation what actually made me want to make this money the second is the strategy what did i do what did i change how was i able to do it the third one is the excuses yes because the excuses are the fears because that's the common thing whenever you set your heart to do something excuses will come up and how was i able to handle my excuses and be able to meet up with this then um the implementation strategies that i did and the result was i able to do it at the end of the day or was i not able to do it motivation my motivation to making this money was that i needed this money yes i needed it not that not that i wanted it so let me tell you why i needed the money if you are new here i'm an international student here in united kingdom and i have a balance of five thousand two hundred pounds to pay for my school fees so i came in to united kingdom in december and from december till march i have not been able to do some concrete work or some so many things have been going wrong and i've not even paid a dime towards completion of my school fees which i was giving may 15 as my deadline so let's not just go into details so i needed 5200 to pay these fees then i needed another 2600 because you know that my living expenses is 2000 my living expenses for a month is 650 pounds that is the basic and the minimal living expenses that i have as an international student here so i factored that in and i checked what it will be for four months and it came out to be 2600 now debts i have debts yeah i have debts of one million naira back home i took the form of five five hundred thousand naira loan from two friends of mine while i was relocating to united kingdom which i promised to pay back in six months or one year i was already four months into the time i took the money and i've not paid back the money so i needed to pay back that money i would need about one thousand pounds because of exchange rate to pay back the sum of one million naira so that is it then i'll need to save because i will be going on a four months vacation and after the vacation i'll go back to school and i need to have some savings and i figured out that i will make ten thousand pounds in these four months and save 20 percent of it which is two thousand pounds so i had a target to save two thousand pounds then the next one is fun activities yes I didn't have fun into my budget since i came into united kingdom and because i've started my journey to financial freedom having fun activities is one of those things that you have to do at some point in your life so i budgeted 200 pounds to it and the total amount came out to 11 strategy going back to the drawing board how will i be able to make this amount of money in this space of time being a student i was given a four months break and within these four months, I can work full time. So it means that I have limited time to make this money. I have four months to make this money so that when I am going back to my 20 hours as a student, I will re strategize for another goal. So I had to make this money, clear my debts, clear my fees, be financially free to an extent before the end of these four months. So having four months in hand, it means that i'll have to make the sum of three thousand two thousand five hundred to three thousand pounds after tax every month for me to make 11 uh, 10 to eleven thousand pounds and be able to meet my goal and strategy so i have to go back to my drawing board how much do i need to make in total for me to take home two thousand five to three thousand pounds monthly and take it home consistently for four months for me to be able to reach my goal now we pay tax for any income you earn here in united kingdom so it means that you don't i will not make two five because if i make two five i'll pay at least a tax of 500 pounds on, on top of that 2500 pounds and i'll be going home with just 2000 pounds so what it, it, it entails is that i'll have to make more and factor in after tax how much i'm going to go home with so i have four months to make this money 
I divided how much am I going to make every month for me to go home with 2,500 pounds monthly. Okay, so I have a job like you, if you've been following up on my channel, the first job I started with when I came here to United Kingdom is healthcare assistant. And I've already done the first step by picking up a night shift because they pay more during the night. They added one pound extra for night shift. So I decided to take up night shift. Fine. Then secondly, healthcare assistant job is not an easy thing here in the United Kingdom. People that have done it will tell you. If I have to do it to make such amount of money, I think my health will be affected. And I think I will not even have the strength to be able to do that. So what did I do next? I had to look for an agency that would take me in for support work. Yeah, so I looked for another source of income. Um, I cannot earn from YouTube or other of my online. That would have been the easiest thing you earn from your skills and your what you can be able to do with your hands. But I didn't have any skill that I can monetize at that point. So if you have a skill that you can monetize when you are trying to make a certain amount of money, that is one of the things, one of the strategies you should go with. But for me, I, I had skills, but at that point, I couldn't monetize those skills. So it has to be me working to earn money. So I registered with an agency um, to be a support worker and I started picking up shifts. Then the third strategy that I started with, I made my main work week days while my agency works will be on weekends. So because if I work on Saturday, if I work on Sunday, no matter when I work, it doesn't make any difference with my workplace. The only thing that makes difference with my workplace is whether I work morning or night. So there is no need picking up um, weekend shifts there when I know I can get more if I pick the weekend shift somewhere else. So what I do is that I do all the shifts that I had to. Okay, first of all, I sat down to divide it. I divided it that. I will make um, one five for my main job and the remaining 1,000 for my agency job. So how many shifts do I need to work in a month to make one five? I figured that out to be what 13 shifts with my pay rate. So the 13 shifts will give me about 1,700 and something pounds. And after tax, I'll go home with about 1,560 pounds. So I was okay with doing 13 shifts. So I now divided the 13 shifts into how many shifts i can do in a week so with 13 shifts i'll need to do like three to four shifts every week for me to do 13 shifts in a month so every week i work during the week if i'm going if it's the week i'm picking up three shifts i'll do that within the week i'll do that either monday tuesday wednesday or thursday these four days i pick my shift or sometimes till friday but for my agency i work mostly friday saturday and sunday so now working Friday, Saturday and Sunday makes me pay, get a higher pay. And because it's a support work, it's less stressful. It's just like where I go and rest after doing the hard work. So for, um, like at a point, let me give you a scenario example. I went for a two weeks support where I had to go and support a patient, a diabetic patient that just came back from the hospital, what I'm actually going to do is to check the patient's sugar level at 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, and monitor them throughout the night till morning. If they complain of anything like headache, dizziness, all the symptoms of diabetes, if they start having any panic attack, then I can just check their sugar at the very moment of their complaint and know if the sugar is going up or the sugar level is going down so that was my job and i did that work for two weeks though i didn't do it in the days that i have to go for my main work so what happens is that if i go for this shift it's an overnight shift i go i start the shifts by nine o'clock in the night and i close by seven in the morning and i'm being paid 13 pound per hour to go for this shift and it's a 10 hour shift so if I go for this shift, but uh, then when I do the shift on Saturday or, or on Sunday, I'm paid £14.50. So if I go for this shift, I just sit down and 
look at the pe uh, patient monitor the patient then when it's three o'clock we do our normal three o'clock routine check except there is a crisis within the wait period and there is nothing i don't hoist i don't lift i don't do any cleaning or anything that was that's just it at seven o'clock in the morning i hand over to the day staff and i go home so this is one of the strategies that i employed to help me work more hours with less stress so the next one is my fears my excuses and all so everybody your fears is unique to you your excuses is unique to you but let me tell you mine so the excuse i had was that hobby has joined me here in united kingdom and i know he will support in paying the fees in my living expenses and as much as he can support but because this is what i want to do for myself for personal for my personal and my financial goods i decided that i will ignore if any help was going to come from him and do this as if i had no help i don't know if you understand it i did this like someone who didn't have a dependent who didn't have um parents to sponsor him or her like i did this i just decided to do this on myself you get it so i did not factor the percentage of the money he will bring in into my budget although i know it will come in but that is one of the excuses that might take like deter you from achieving your goals so that was my own excuse and it was a very strong excuse because i know that even if i don't work to achieve all these things somehow they are going to be achieved but i decided to ignore that privilege and work towards doing this i told myself i was going to do this and i will i will work towards doing that as if there was no help there was no alternative because one thing you will know is that when you have uh, when you have no other alternative like when you your only alternative is to survive you see yourself surviving so i removed that excuse and i worked and budgeted and planned and executed as if there was no other option i gave myself no other option and that was one of the um, ways i was able to achieve that so when you got to implementation stage i made sure i implemented all my plans by one having a good relationship with my agency registering with more than one agency called my agency from time to time to let them know my availability and my willingness to pick up shifts because like there is a kind of relationship that you build with your agency that whenever there is a shift out they'll just call you like when these um patients that i went for for two weeks when that um position came out they called me and i told them ah of course i can do that i'm even a medical lab scientist i can run sugar tests and so many other laboratory test they found out like like this is the best person for this job and that was it they gave me the job and even the days when i was not available because i had to go for my other job they kept on like is there any you know how you can come for this i said no somebody should come in i'll continue maybe the next day or the next two days and that um that job had a funding and when the funding finished they were like they called me personally to tell me the situation of things like this patient is so 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 the funding has finished you have to stop this care for this patient but whenever the funding comes back you are going to be the first person to come in so i said okay i stopped and at some point in time they got another funding for this patient they still called me to continue for a, a period of another one week before they finally stopped on that so you have to be proactive you have to go all out for it it's not like it's not a thing of shame or a thing of feeling too big a thing of like you have made out a plan for yourself you are working towards a goal you have to go all out for it you need to make a call make a call you need to send an email send an email you need to make connection make connection whenever i meet anybody anywhere i am looking for this do you need help with this do you need help with this any any job decent job that will not um, take me so much stress and i will make money from it I was ready to take it i told i also shared on this page how i went for a video assistant job 
that I was paid about 150 pounds for that day. It's still within the period of this. I saw that opportunity that afternoon, that morning. I was I just woke up in the morning going to my phone. I saw that I picked up that shift, went for it by 12 o'clock, came back by five in the evening, got my 150 pounds. So I implemented and was ready to go out for all activities that would earn me money for me to be able to meet up with my target so the next one is um having your plan a your plan b your to your plan z you have to make a lot of plans i made a lot of plans like if this did, if this one did not work what will i do if the other one did not work what will i do at some point i had to even re-strategize yes i had to re-strategize because on my first month i was not able to meet to my target but i was very very close to that target i was about Two, three hundred. I was about two hundred pound close to the target, but I didn't meet up with the target. Second month, same thing happened, and at the third month, I had to sit down and strategize. Okay, see, this is not happening. It's happening. Yeah, I will commend myself for being able to do what I was able to do, but still yet I have not gotten to where I want to be. So what am I going to do? I will have to spread those about 300 and something pounds that was not made the first two months to spread it to the third and the fourth month so i wasn't looking for two five again i was not looking for two eight to two seven or two eight monthly for me to be able to suffice for the first two months i was not able to meet up with that so that is one thing you will have to work with and um, sometimes you have you, you the plan will work sometimes it will not work but you should be ready to re-strategize and go back again then i explored the option of making money online on this channel i shared how i made money by answering surveys um so i tried making money online i i went into i ventured into that okay what can i do online to make me money surveys or, or or whatever it is that i can do that can or earn me money if you are still watching up to this moment i take it that you love the content that you see please do well to subscribe keep the notification bell on so that you always be notified when we share video on this channel thank you so much now to the results you know that <clears throat> generally africans who don't like talking about money but in the spirit of transparency is a journey i want to start with you so i will tell you on the first month i made two thousand four hundred and thirty six pounds 56 um pence second month 2265 pounds five pence third month 2443 pounds 18 pence and on the fourth month 2580 pounds 41 pence and in total 9725 thousand sixty four pence so if you notice something that was consistent after the first month the second month that i found out that um i told you after the second month i had to re-strategize so after the re-strategization the third month was better on the fourth month i was able to reach my goal this is to tell you that when you set up a goal for yourself there are chances that you will not meet up your goal at the first, second, or third instance. But if you keep being consistent in meeting up that goal and you keep re strategizing, learning from your mistake, doing some things better, there, are, there will be higher chances of you meeting up your goal. And for the motivating factors that, um, the tri that triggered the money making process, school fees was paid. 5200 living expenses was lived already and debt was also paid that i'm debt free now my savings yeah because the savings was one that was affected i didn't get to the amounts that i wanted to get to then the fun activities that i wanted to engage in yes i did that i went on a london tour that cost me the sum of um, 100 pounds i also bought some things for myself because if you know on my living expenses there is no um room for clothing and all, all of that so i bought some things for myself which i did on the, the unboxing on this channel for about 100 pounds also for myself and 60 pounds for my husband then the total money if you, you calculate 5200 2600 1200 pounds you will be getting a total of 9000 pounds so what was left for me to save 
is about 700 pounds so we're still on this journey and yeah hobby helps in so many ways so that was the only thing that helped my savings to come up and was that made it not to be 700 uh, 700 and then 25 pounds as that was what was left from the money that i made